All right, a couple of quick requests that people have been asking me since my last video. Uh, first of all, uh, a lot of people asked if you can use a flashlight application to have the um, have the light come from your camera flash as opposed to your screen. The answer is no. Um, I used brightest flashlight. Uh, one just called flashlight and another one called see if I could find it maybe that was it I thought I had three but anyways the answer is no uh, as of right now until they get it, maybe when they update one of them then it will but since it's a new phone maybe they don't have the software for it or update update whatever uh, really simple one someone asked me um, how do you how do you take your now if you never use a smartphone before this is how you get your applications from from your drawer I guess that's what you would want to call it an application drawer uh, once they're finished downloading uh, they will be right here in your app drawer okay and say for example I'm like okay hey I want to put a no, I already have it okay we'll do brightest flashlight so all you do is you, when you're in the app drawer, you find an app you want to place on your home, one of your home screens, just press and hold, and it will go to whatever uh, side you want. Now, don't let go of it. You can maneuver it to whatever screen you want. However, these are all filled, so I'm going to put it right here and then let it go. And if you want to move it, say you want to put this on top, once again, press and hold, and you can move it anywhere you want on the screen, as long as there's room. Okay, uh, that was for Razo Dia. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm really bad at pronouncing these names. It's Raz R A Z A O D I A D A one. Razo Dia. How about that? Razo Dia one. Um, next is using the music player as an iPod. Stepside 350 asked me that. Um, yes, the answer is yes, but you, you would need a double male ended 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you, I'm sure you could purchase at any Best Buy or Radio Shack. And what you would basically do is, in case nobody knows what I'm talking about, just like your iPhone, uh, and because there's no docking station or anything, what you would simply do is if now you need to have a headset jack in built into your radio already, uh, you would just plug one end into your phone and the other end goes into your vehicle, and you just tap on your music, and that's it. Okay, so that was his question answer. So his answer is yes. I'm not going to show the the music player. I mean, just because it's it's basically the same exact thing as all other Android phones. It's nothing special. Uh, however, if you guys still want to see it, leave a comment and I'll go through it. I'm just trying to go through things that are not basic. Um, and second to last is uploading pictures and videos to websites can you do it the answer is yes okay so once you're finished taking a picture a video go into your gallery once your gallery is opened up as stated in my other videos sometimes this may take a while um, let's say I want to put this picture of the McRib okay now once this picture loads all right you can tap on the screen hit menu okay right here on the bottom where it says share you can either send this picture through messaging picasa i guess whatever that is i don't know bluetooth uh, that's pixay pro it's an application you could send it to somebody's facebook or your own um chop is my messaging through email and those are your options so say for example i want to send this picture to my um messaging then you just press messaging and it goes in there okay same thing if you want to down, download it to your Facebook if you press Facebook it'll say, say downloading it'll go onto your page and then you can share it and whatever from there and last but not least uh, she told me this is how you pronounce her name Ocean Essie, Ocean Nessie or Ocean Essie, sorry if I mispronounced it, she was wondering about the text messaging, if it's easy, what it's like. So I'll run through, I'm not going to use Chomp because that is what I use, that's not what everyone else is going to use. 
Um, the person whose name I'm, okay, I don't even have to, I thought I was going to have to type on someone's name, I was going to tell you guys, feel free to call them and mess with them. Um, this is the stock keyboard that it comes with. This would be, I don't use this, this would be your standard, your swipe. So if, I don't know how to use this, but anyways, that's stock keyboard. Um, you can change it different styles, whatever to your liking. And here's your settings if you want to change the language or preferences. Uh, me personally, I don't use that. Uh, so if you don't want to use this, and all you got to do is on for this keyboard press one, two, three, and this menu will pop up. Um, this is currently the XT9. Hit select. Now, if you download a keyboard from the marketplace, this, this will also pop up in this menu. I personally use the Android. Okay, the Android's pretty much the same thing. Now, I stated in my other videos, it's very comfortable using. So, say for example, I want to say, I love McDonald's. Okay, very easy. You know, and if you want to put a smiley in there, press and hold, and there's all your different smileys. Okay. Um, and if you want to use it in landscape mode, it's even easier to type. I mean, I have pretty big hands. I mean, as you can tell, oops. I mean, compared to when the phone's in my hand, and I could come, uh, some guys, a, a few guys ask me if it's comfortable to text with. Yeah, I mean, the phone fits great in your hand, and let me type the same thing all over again. Runs very smooth. And if you want to do your smileys, there you go. Um, and I believe that's, she just asked pretty basic questions. Your symbols are up top. Now, one thing, if you are coming from the Prevail, I have yet, you know, if, I'm sorry. If you want to change this back to your swipe, there's this little circle button right here, right next to the one, two, three button. If you want to switch it back, press and hold that, and that'll bring up your menu again for your uh, select input method menu. So you can change the keyboards. Um, the, what was I, okay, the Prevail keyboard. Now, that's one thing I do miss. Um, as far as, say for example, I was typing, I hate school and I spelled it school. Okay, autocorrect is no longer an option. I'm sure there is a way to have it enabled. However, I have not been able to see a way to do that. Also, if you, when you're in your texting, if you want, a couple people asked me about that way back when I first started my videos. Um, if you hit the menu button, you can add your signature at this point too, or you can do it through your settings on your phone, or you can add your smiley. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't use these anymore. I use uh, that program, the application called Chomp. Uh, but either way, I hope I answered everyone's questions. Oh, and the last thing was people keep asking me about this clock widget, okay? It is free in the marketplace. <clears throat> Open up your market and type in cents, and this is what it's called. It is called the Sense Analog Clock Widget, okay? Um, they have one Sense Analog Clock Widget Dark, I just installed the regular one, okay? Once you install it, um, then you just, basically when you open it up or go to use it on your phone, there's sev there's many, many different skins. I'll run through them really, really brief because I know I'm probably boring everyone. Um, and here's what they are, uh, just so you guys can see what they look like. And all these can be used, at, if you don't, I, the reason why I use all clear is because I generally like my wallpapers, so I don't want it covered up. Um, and no, there is no moving clock widget that I have seen on the marketplace. Um, people, I think it was the, the HTC, HTC Evo, um, right? Is that who? Yeah, I'm sure. The, whoever makes the Evo, like similar to that clock, where basically 
instead of it being solid like this and just changing time, these little sections are split and they flip as the minutes go. I have yet to find that on the marketplace. I have looked. However, I've been unsuccessful, nor have I really tried that hard. Uh, so I hope I covered everybody's questions. I'm heading over to Boost Mobile Store right now, and hopefully I will be able to get some more stuff for you guys so I can give away more stuff. Thanks for subscribing. And if you... Yeah, I, that's all I got to say. Okay, really quick, see I almost forgot. People were asking me how fast, uh, feel free to call that number, I don't really care. Um, how fast exactly do pictures and everything send? So let's go ahead. I'm going to send that picture of that McRib along with a smiley face. So it's sending. <clears throat> um, obviously, when you guys do send pictures, Understand that pictures will take a lot longer than standard text. I'll show you the difference here as soon as this finishes. Now I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, it's taking so long, it's taking so long. It's really not if you think about ant scent. Okay, now I'll just pretend like I did this by accident. And now this is just standard text. It sent and it is gone. So you see the difference on how fast those two are? Um, sorry that this is probably gonna be a cluster and I'm just gonna add this in the middle of a video, but whatever, uh, somebody asked me about that so I wanted to make sure I included that in my video. All right, peace.